Hey, good day guys and welcome to another video. Uh, in this video you're just gonna see a couple of quick kills that I got in simulator battles uh, with my F100 Super Saber. Uh, starting off with this guy who died a painful death. Uh, you will see a compilation of kills. I will make sure I speed the video up so that you guys can see the action. Um, I think that this jet is amazing, uh, just like the MiG-19 PT. Uh, I love the MiG-19 PT just as much, but there's something about this F-100 Super Saber that just gets my attention in a way that the MiG-19 PT doesn't. And I think that's the fact that I can engage ground targets with it. But anyways, that's aside the video. Uh, right here I see this guy, he's flying, uh, it's a prop plane unfortunately. but. We'll see how I get a snapshot on him. And do you see those bullets? Oh man, that looks very nice. You can see the kill feed right here. Um, one of my favorite things about the F100 Super Saber, for those of you who don't know it, uh, let's kind of remove the tags since we don't actually see those in simulator. Um, one of the really good things I like about the F100 Super Saber is that unlike the MiG-19 PT, uh, the F100 Super Saber doesn't, uh, like, okay, when you shoot with the F100 Super Saber, it doesn't do what the MiG-19 PT does. What I mean by that is, the MiG-19 PT has a way slower fire rate than this thing does. It's still pretty quick fire rate, but it's, it's way slower than this. Um, for example, there have been times, and if you look at my videos, you will see this happening. Um, there have been times where I'm literally uh, firing at a super saber. I'm uh, not a super saber. Uh, oh yeah, a super saber or uh, any plane, and they fly between my rounds. Now, why does that happen? Well, slow fire rate. That doesn't really happen much with the F100 super saber. If you are in the line of fire of this thing, you're most likely going to be ripped up into a million pieces. Uh, that was a nice kill right there too. We just killed a Yak-19. I mean, I'm sorry, not Yak-19. Uh, Yak-9P. Um, typically, it's a little harder to kill prop planes with jets just because of the fact that they're so slow and they maneuver so well that it actually is a pretty challenging task. Uh, if you guys have tried that, you know exactly what I mean. For those of you who don't really fly jets or simulator for that sake, uh, you probably think that killing props in jets is super easy. And yeah, it is if they're flying straight and level, but when they start turning, it's practically impossible. Good luck killing a prop when they're turning in a tight circle or aware that you are there with a jet. Anyways, right here, uh, we get into a little fight with this... Uh, MiG-15, if I remember correctly, that was a MiG-15. Yeah, it is a MiG-15. Uh, and basically what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to line up behind him. And I'm not going to shoot him with my guns. Well, I am going to shoot him a little bit. But my intention is to shoot him with a missile. Uh, and that is exactly what we're going to do in a little bit. We're going to shoot him with a missile pretty soon. Let's see that happening. We're just... In a, we got into a little like roll there, and there goes a missile. Will it hit? Nope, that one missed. That was my mistake, though. Wow, that actually knocked down a tree. <laughs> I actually saw that thing knock down a tree. If you guys speed the video back, I mean not speed, uh, push the video back like 10 seconds, you'll see that happening. That's kind of funny. We we'll killed the tree with a air-to-air -air heat-seeking missile. Alright, so right here I find an opportunity. Uh, he flies very... straight. And... I find a chance to put one of those missiles on him. And I did. And... Boom. Come on. That's it, right there. Just like that, we got our fourth kill. And that actually was the last kill we got in this game before the game ended. Uh, in other words, don't do what that guy did. 
I don't know if he was a real player. I think he was. Yeah, he was a real player. Uh, MiG-17. Oh, I thought it was a MiG-15 at first. Uh, don't do what he did. He tried to outrun me or something uh, at the end over there. As you can see, we're in a little dogfight. I don't know. Maybe he didn't know that I was a, a Super Saber, but he tried to outrun me. Don't do that. Just don't. In top tier, you can no longer outrun people on MiG-17s or MiG-15s or stuff like that. You can if it's a regular Saber F-86, but if it's an F-100, you're not going to outrun it. And sometimes you might not know. So you might as well try to turn, figure out what it is, and deal with it. Uh, there are more there, there are more things you can do. Um, but aside from that, um, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate. Oh, I wanted to say one thing. I I almost forgot. Um, my squadron uh, Dart D A R T that stands for uh, Direct. Uh, assault and uh, react uh, reaction team uh, we're actually uh, recruiting people uh, we're taking anybody in really so if you guys are interested in that and uh, by any means you guys want to join it and have a higher chance of playing with me and uh, a couple other of my friends um, by all means uh, do so uh, this is actually the same team I had. If you guys looked at my other videos, it was ESETS, Elite Software Engineer Team. I know, terrible name. Uh, I'm a software engineer, so or I'm a student software engineer. So that's why I made that name. Terrible idea considering that most people in this uh, simulator are not really going into that. But if anybody wants to join my uh, squadron, by all means, do so and or let me know whatever it's not a big deal um you are however required to use uh, the discord so that we can communicate with people we typically have um training sessions uh it's nothing too serious but we typically have training sessions in custom uh we set it up to be simulator type uh, so what we do is we set it up so that the tanks are set up for realistic, since most people play tanks in realistic. Uh, however, the flying will always be simulator. Um, just a heads up for that. If any of you guys want to learn how to fly in simulator or practice or, you know, get better. I'm not the best, but I can definitely give you some advice. I've flown for a very long time. Um, so... With that said, uh, you guys have a good one. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.